Well, welcome everyone. Back to the Junk Man's Adventures. And I'm the Junk Man, and I have a special guest with me. Uh, my moderator is actually on stream with me. So uh, say hello, hello, Katie. Hello. <laughs> so uh, this is going to be a little different kind of stream. We're going to do another little diorama um, build here. I seems like people kind of like those. Uh, anyway, we got a few people in the chat. Feel free to um, join in. We got uh, Kevin and Jason. They're they're a couple of regular viewers. So thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you like this one. This is going to be a little bit different than the last one you guys saw me build. But um, I thank you for jo joining in. Um, we'll get this out of the way. Um, feel free to join in the chat. Um, feel free to uh, support via super chat. That's this little dollar sign there uh, down in the chat box. You can donate as little as as a dollar. It helps out. Helps buy equipment uh, and keep keep things running here on my channel. Uh, but you never have to do that. I'll always uh, be making this stuff, um, whether or not I get donations through super chat. But it is sure appreciated. So I guess I will um, uh, <clears throat> leave it at that. I'll probably holler that out for new people joining in. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, there we go. We got Katie doing a thumbs up. Um, and the reason she's here is we'll go over the uh, scope of the build that we're doing here. Um, so let me get out what, and actually you can probably see by some of these Funko, Fo uh, uh, Funko Pop uh, figures we got going on here. And uh, is kind of the theme. Uh, hey, Furworks, thanks for uh, joining in. Um, yeah, this we're, we're doing a diorama based on a, uh, a little bit of a, a book series here. Let me uh, change to the widescreen here. Uh, first uh, first book in the series is the paperback, but uh, we collect the hardback, and I think you got some first editions of this uh -huh. and stuff. First editions, I think we got some... Uh, well, some... I'm trying to collect first editions of all of them. Right, but uh, anyway, we uh, also got uh, author's uh, signature in a lot of the books. Not, not, not this, this one. But... Not this particular one. But, not, uh, not these paperbacks, no. But uh, anyway... You know, uh, let's, I mean, we can kind of talk about what, what it's all about, but uh, I'll kind of go over the, the scope here by showing some of the some of the things we're going to use to do this. Here Here's the main base that we're going to do here. It's a little, uh, little kind of globe deal. Uh, this is what we're going to build it on. I did a little prep beforehand making this little uh, uh, circle piece. Um, and... Uh, Anyway, because I want to make another little desk sitter. I mean, this won't oh, be... Oh, it's going to go on my bookshelf. Well, it's going to get... With, right. like, my Outlander shelf. Yeah. It, it's it's going to be a display piece, but we didn't want something real big uh, because it's going to be displayed with the with the books and some of the other things um, along here. So, uh, and actually, I didn't ahead of time uh, uh, get a picture pictorial representation of what we're making here, but... Uh, We'll discuss that as we go along. So I'll put that off to the side. But we also got, and I'm kind of cheating here. I bought some pre-made trees for this because we're going to need that. Um, <clears throat> we got some uh, got some of the grass texture and different colors that we're going to use. Uh, we need to put a few little like uh, flower type deals. That's what that's about. And that's kind of it. I mean, some paints and, and, and oh yeah, we'll get to the stones in a minute here. We'll we'll kind of talk talk about it as as we're going here. But um, first things first is we need to kind of get this built up um, with our uh, plaster just like we did before. So um, make our hill. We got to kind of make a hill here. So, uh, well, I guess we'll get into get into kind of the crux of what this is going to be. Uh, Katie, tell us, uh, tell everybody what's the uh, what this series is about um i'll okay. just okay so it's kind of a weird combination of genres kind of all mashed together um mostly it's a historical fiction um it's got some sci-fi twist to it in the time travel aspect of it and then there's also um you know a good splash of romance in there so um so it's kind of a little bit of everything I, but it um, takes place like in Scotland, mostly um, in the mid 1700s, um, 
and then also it'll flash it flashes back spoiler um to like 1945 scotland so right after world war ii and then also it jumps ahead to 1960s 1970s and almost even up into the 1980s um scotland and also uh the united states yeah i i i'm a casual fan of it she's a super fan she's been uh reading them since they came out in... No, I haven't been reading them that long. I thought, well, just about. Well, they came out in 1991, but I've been reading them since I was like 15, though. So. Well, I so, guess... So, over half my life. Yeah, well, anyway, um, I'm a I'm a casual fan. Um, you listen to them on audio. Right, right. and... Uh, but I like the uh, historical fiction part uh, of it. Um, has kind of some... Uh, you know, it, uh, the, the historical fiction part, the fiction is they're putting, they're setting these characters that you're kind of seeing these Funko Pop representations into real historical events. So, and there's a lot of political, uh, this and that of the, of the era that they're. Well, the time uh, period is that the, like a lot of the main stuff happens in, is key, key points in cer those certain countries' history. So. The mid 1700s, so like 1745, 1746, uh, the Jacobite uprising, um, and then also in America, the it's you know the year a few years leading up to the Revolutionary War. So those are key time points in you know their pers respective his, you know, country's history. Yeah. So and then you know she mentioned there's some there's a romance element to it. Well. Because of course there is, but really, um, you know, it's not all bodice ripper. It's it, yeah, it's not bodice ripper by any means. I, it's, it's not like that. No. I'd uh, I'd say it's uh, it's it's about five. Nice. It's about it's about five percent uh, bodice ripper, and uh, and you know, those are the parts of the book are you know, um, I metaphorically you know kind of just roll my eyes because it's like, come on, let's get to the war, let's get to the the. Uh, uh, let's get to the politics or 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 the conflicts between. Yeah, characters. but you're missing the relationships, though. That that's building the character. Well, okay, they, uh, yeah. it, it's important for that. All right, but we can get into, um, and like I said, we're gonna we're gonna probably talk about a few spoilers here, but uh, yeah. So if you don't want spoilers, now's the time to unplug your headphones and shut this off. <laughs> yeah. Um, by the way, this will probably be a two day two day build be, uh, because we're gonna have to. Uh, uh, let let's stuff dry. let stuff dry. I'm trying to mix this somewhat of, as a more dry mix, as um, so it, maybe it'll dry a little quicker. Maybe I can get it to. I mean, this is a faster drying plaster. Uh, same stuff I used last time, so you guys have seen this. But um, you know, it still took a good while to get dried. But maybe maybe I'll harden it enough. I can maybe throw some paint on it too and then when we come back we'll be able to just finish it up in the next stream I'm hoping so uh, that's probably the best consistency I'm going to get out of it um, I don't want to do it any drier than that I don't think um, also I want it to be plenty hard um, so let's see if I can uh, I'm kind of I'm blocking the video. You want me to switch it? No, it's okay. okay. We'll be good here. Um, hopefully, I got enough on this. Might have to. Again, this might have to be a. But anyway, okay. So we got kind of the basics uh, uh, going with. Uh, um, going with what the book's kind of about. But uh, let's let's talk about the. I mean, there's. I guess you could argue there's many MacGuffins in this series, but uh, we're building one this of them. This is a key plot point in the whole. Yeah, thing, is what this well diorama will be. It's exactly, a, it's a plot. It's kind of what triggers it all. What what why the rest of the story happens? Exactly, it's a, it's a it's a MacGuffin in the sense that it's a it's a it's a thing that that gets the characters from. Gets the characters in the story and pushes the story from one place to another. Uh, actually, kind of literal. Well, 
literally and figuratively because it's a um, it's a time travel device. So think back to the future. Think a little bit back to the future, although it doesn't really work in back to in total back to the future rules. Um, it's kind of like it's almost a little Bill and Ted's in that it's a little bit steerable. Uh, no, I'm, kind not, of. No, I'm not a Whovian, but uh, it has elements uh, uh, of however that works. So if you got, you know, you guys know that. Um, well, the way the theory works, based you know, based in the Outlander universe, it's 200 years is you know as about as far forward and backwards as you can go. Some like there is some steering involved with it, but. Um, steering of time that's, periods that's that that delves more into like like with galas duncan and the gemstones and the blood sacrifices that she thinks are required and all that and stuff yeah like oh she, well like, that's like a whole other oh yeah G G well, galas is something we could do a whole uh whole podcast about that's an interesting <laughs> yeah, interesting uh, yeah. character you know women's liver all the way where she came from but then <laughs> and pretty kind of evil in the way on the other side so but uh we're gonna let that kind of let that dry gotta let <laughs> that dry a little so i can so i can work it a little bit um looks like a top of the uh, ice cream uh oh hey kevin okay oh your old lady watches the TV, okay, so, uh, the TV so okay, we, we resist, uh, all right, somebody who kind of knows what's going on, um, uh, we resisted maybe bringing up the TV series, and, um, oh, look, me, me, yeah, um, you know, me being a little more casual, I mean, yeah, the, I, I enjoy the TV series from the technical aspect of how they, uh, how they went about making it, but uh, story-wise, even me as a casual fan, I'm like, there, there, there's a, there's a few like, hmm, that's an interesting uh, way to do that. way to uh, choice for the story. But yeah, I tell you what, um, yeah, Kevin, I'm, I'm glad you gave it a, gave it a, gave it a chance. Uh, I would say the first season, uh, e each season has so far basically delve with one, one book. book. One book, of course. Start the... kind of going away from that, though, here is season five. Yeah, I mean... It's it what the rumors are, supposed to be. Well, and kind of in vain, of probably Game of Thrones. Uh, yeah, sort of. hopefully not that bad. But, but there's, see, there's still more books here, unlike Game of Thrones, where they couldn't write them fast enough. But um, And that was just a cash grab and all that jazz. But... Um, uh, to me, the first season is not... Of course, it's got to get going, and they have to hook non non book fans in and stuff. Uh, it's not it's not bad. It's fairly faithful to the yeah to it the does book. an okay job. There's there's so much detail in the books. Like it's hard to be able to fit that much detail and do a fifty minute episode. Well, and and there's not an in my opinion there's not enough episodes. I mean that's something about. Well, yeah, like I feel like they could put more episodes in versus condensing it all into like eight episodes. Yeah, he's not a Game of Thrones fan. No, I'm. He, I'm he's not. He's not into that well, type. Like that's two Dungeons and Dragons for him. Well, and that's another. I thing. mean, I've read the first four and I've watched. All the seasons except for the the last one, so so no spoilers there, please. Well, and and me and modern TV ha, have uh, have some. Yeah, you're no fun to watch. Modern well, mo TV. Me and modern modern television, modern cable, I have I take issue with being a YouTuber, um, not a very good one, I should say, but being in this space and seeing what people do uh, in this space. Uh, the quality of content and engagement, I just, I'm like, I'm like, why can't, why does TV have to be the way I, I'm going to go off tangent here, but, uh, you know, something like, uh, you guys might be familiar, maybe Jay Leno's Garage, okay, YouTube channel, but also it's a CNBC, uh, TV show, 
Never watch the, well, I can't say never. I think I might have caught it on a plane or something one time. But uh, I don't watch the uh, um, Jay Leno's Garage TV show. Now, granted, they've uploaded a few to his YouTube channel, so I, I, I accidentally watched one there, or tried. I should say tried to. And I tell you, that TV editing, I just don't get it. And, and it isn't all about, it isn't all the commercials that is the gripe. It's the freaking jump cuts and, and, and made up. I'd say drama with his kind of show, but kind of the made up story thing. But just, they're forcing a story where there doesn't need to be one. Right. I mean, I Jay, Jay is funny enough on his own. Don't, you don't need to, you know, just, just get, you know, if you're going to have, I don't know, this actor that has a car and I'm, you know, generically, um, Tim Allen, for example, just, just have him on the YouTube channel. Okay. Don't, don't, you know, don't, don't, don't be like the whole, the TV show and then have to do the, uh, you know, thing and make jokes about his old home improvement days and stuff. I mean, sure, you can still do that, but keep it focused on what's so neat about his, you know, his car collection or something. Okay, we're getting, uh, this plaster's getting in where I can finally work it because I'm trying to make a little bit of a mound here. Um, getting back to what we're doing here is uh, these stones... Um, sit kind of on a, on a hill, a mound, and, a, and then they're kind of in a circle, uh, like a Stonehenge, but not like the Stonehenge and you think of. The, the, in the book, she's, when she, Claire, the main character, first sees it, she describes it as a miniature henge, which I guess I don't visualize it being like the, the stones being, having the 90 degree, 90 degree corners like you would for like the the big stone hands like what most people envision yeah and like i i do think the tv series did a good job of bringing this to life like this this is a good visual with how they did this and i will say the way they tackle the whole time travel thing you know uh let's just think about other other media or, or movies you know and of course back to the future comes to mind you know flash a light and they're boom they're there this, this this is, is kind of a subtle fade. This is just all. a you know because even in the books it's it's just uh, the, as far as the characters when they get you know get close to doing it they they describe a buzzing or whatever okay so there's an auditory uh, an auditory cue that oh something's happening they feel the buzzing like they feel like it in but their bodies buzzing, but it's not but like they hear like the stones like are screaming uh but uh, they, but then they, then they, uh, but then they don't go all Bill and Ted's and have them sitting there going, "Whoa, the circuits of time, dude!" You know, kind of thing. They just kind of. They, they kind of just sort of. They wake up in the same spot that they were where they started out as, yeah. but it's a different time period. And something I'm going to do here, I'm going to kind of, and I, you know, that this is just an artistic, creative license here. I kind of make a little bit of a ditch or, or or walking path maybe it's not even walking path it's where the deer maybe animals a game trail you know a game trail that's what i'm trying to say yeah thanks um and i want i don't want this to be too smooth but i don't want it to be r too rough and we're going to try to because it's i picture it in my head it's not rough terrain to get up to this this thing but it's it's a um well, supposedly it's kind of a hike. Well, it's a hike to get there, but we're not we're not building the whole mountain. We're just building the area um, there. But I guess what intrigues me about this um, series is just um, it's very well written. Like you can really, really see what's going on. Uh, you can feel the tension between the characters. Like I said, the political stuff. They give you enough in info. You know, I'm I'm not. She's a real good his, big history buff. You know, I'm not so much. They give you enough backstory so you can understand why what's motivating the characters. So, um, uh, somebody made a Stonehenge replica out in Washington. I I think I've heard of that. And actually, speaking of hinge, <laughs> speaking of hinges, uh, we, I can bring up car hinge. Car hinge and, and, and Alliance, Nebraska. Now, I mean, it's like middle of nowhere. Yeah, I mean, 
people go there like it's like a tourist thing to drive and it's, go see the cars. Oh, I mean, you know, as an artistic thing and all that, I, you know, I it, don't get it. It's neat, but I, 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 I don't get why it's a pilgrimage to and why Alliance Nebraska, other than maybe the artist was there. I don't know, but um, it's 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 a you walk around for ten minutes and you're like okay. Um, and then drive 20 miles back to town. <laughs> so it's, um, you know, nothing, nothing special in my mind. Okay, good. We're getting, we're getting pretty dry enough here. We'll be able to put some paint on this, I think. Let's get these, uh, um, how about, how do you like that, that mound? I mean, you know, we, we got to put the, I just kind of want to, that's a little bit of a, Let's I mean, we're, I don't want it too defined. No, I don't either. Um, and actually, it's going to get covered up with stuff. So that's why a lot of this, it doesn't matter. I just want it rough. Do we have it high? Do we have it tall enough? I don't want it too much taller because we got to um, get those trees in there. I feel like it could be a smidge higher, I guess. Well, like I feel like it could be steeper. Well, like maybe one side steeper. Yeah, well, let's see if I can. Well, that's kind of what I was trying to do here. So. I could, I could kind of do, well, the stone place in it's going to help with that. Well, we have a little flatter area here, up there. We want some visual interest so we can, so you, Oops. oh, it's all right. It's going to be flat there. And, uh. Because in the book, she's, they have to climb up the hill. Yeah, right? but, per, but, you know. Think about it, a, a figure climbing it is only going to be a couple millimeters tall. Yeah, the, that's true. So, I mean, it's an interpretation, so. Um, uh, okay. I mean, yeah, that needs to fully dry, but it'll, it, it'll dry under there. Um, okay. Yeah, actually, that's pretty good. Okay, um, kind of get an idea of what we're going for here. Kind of got some variation going here. Let's uh, let's get the well. Let's uh, before we do this, let's get the get the rocks out. We're gonna do here, and we can kind of just lightly uh, put them in here. Those are really big. Yeah, I, that probably won't use that. Um, I kind of liked. Um, let me. Uh, Shove it up here so you guys can see it a little bit better close up. Um, those, these, are, these are too big. I mean, this one would break this one. Up well, here. yeah. Do you wanna yeah, wanna here. go hammer it here? Or okay, that one's crumbled. I guess this is like shame. I, I, I just went out to a parking lot and found them. Yeah. <laughs> So I kind of like some of this stuff. Yeah, I actually, like this one a lot. This is one this here. that's for the real, center? No, or too big? no, that's well, too we, big. Well, we, well, if I can break it down, yeah. There we go. How about something like that? Um, for the center, I can I can also sand these things down. Um, yeah, uh, if you're just joining in and wondering what's going on, uh, we're building a little diorama here, uh, inspired by. Um, Inspired by uh, uh, the Outlander book series by Diana Gabaldon. 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 Um, but, uh, and if you're just also joining in here, um, feel free to support by a super chat. Um, the little dollar sign uh, down in the chat box, if you'd like. Donate as little as a dollar. Um, kind of helps helps things out. Do you want me to bust this one down some more? I think we could, yeah. Leave it kind of pointy, like something yeah. like that. Because like like you know, because this could be the one they go up and they touch. Yeah, or even this or one. something I like that for a middle. Because there's a there's a there's a central stone and the rest kind of circle around it. But they are my vision is they're kind of random. So um, that's, that's too much. <laughs> okay, well we can even have some littler ones that aren't necessarily part of the circle, but they're they kind of get there. Like I feel like we should have like like slightly bigger ones, just like stick it out. Of the and have it slightly covered with the the grass and stuff. 
Well, like it's part of the mountain, like you're seeing. Like it's covered in. Uh, we could experiment. Or not the mountain, but like the hill, you know. Well, then I should have. Should have. Worked it in. Worked there, it yeah. in there. Well, we can. We can do that. Actually, let's see. Something like. A small enough one. Well, we'll have to see what we got room for. We'll we'll think about that later. All right, I'm gonna see about. Okay, I like. You start picking out. You start picking out some rocks. I am going to get my dirt. We're gonna get our dirt texture, but most of this is gonna be covered up. But we don't want uh, white showing. That's I need something to mix my paint in. Where's your stuff? Um, I forgot to. I forgot to bring it up. Oh yeah, I guess I used. Yeah. Will I be right back? No. Oh, all sort of rocks. So we can uh, just use this lid. Okay. Pick out the rocks you think you like, and uh, I'll get this going here. We get, get a brush here. Just um, use this one here. But yeah. Um. Anyway, like I said, it's a uh, Interesting, uh, <clears throat> interesting book series. Um, but I kind of like going back to the whole TV thing. Um, I guess you know, in the chat, what what is what turns you guys off of just just TV and uh, regular TV in in general? Um, you know, and I'm including cable in that, not just network stuff. Um, that's <clears throat> that dark brown. Let's see if I can break this off. Again, like I like I said with you know, something like Jay Leno's Garage is a perfect example where, you know, I you know, I started watching that YouTube channel back when uh, more or less he, he started it. It had only at the at the time like maybe a hundred thousand subscribers or something, you know, and now it's in the millions, of course. Because it again he has some clout going on there, but um, you know, just the difference. It's funny how their thumbnails have to be different on like Jay Leno's Garage to to kind of differentiate. Okay, well, this was this is an excerpt out of the TV versus versus the regular show, and uh, I just it just is something that just doesn't you know. I don't know. There's just not many shows for me, and then the shows they do make that are like, oh, this was kind of neat, gets ruined by the, you know, either the manufactured drama or just the, just the brevity of it, uh, the jump cuts, and and the fact that, you know, in a half hour show they only you only really get, what, twenty twenty two minutes or less, um, type of thing. Uh, or even or an hour show, you know, it's like 40 minutes. Um, so that they don't have enough time to really get into the, the meat and potatoes of it. You know, for example, like a channel like the History Channel. I used to love that, you know. Uh, Modern Marvels and, and and other things like that. That all, well, hey, that, that kind of content is now on YouTube. Uh, you know, channels like Today I Found Out or, or just about anything. And you know what? In a in a twenty five minute video, they do better than a whole hour show on the old History Channel. I'm gonna say these are our rocks. Okay, I can probably force dry this if I get the hair dryer out. This is just acrylic paint. Okay, uh, we'll probably do, or should it be dirt all the way around? You want black down here, or um. When you're looking at it, I got to thinking. <laughs> Let's do black. Okay, do black. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Then, black. I, then I'm, I'm done here. I'll put the brush away. Put this off to the side. Um, yeah, TV, nothing ever good on. Yeah, I find that, or I find that too. Uh, YouTube, Netflix. 
Uh, I don't have any other streaming. I I I guess I'm a cheap cheap sob. I oh well, Amazon. Amazon. Well, Prime, Amazon, I but because I got Prime because I order auto parts and and diapers. and and yeah diapers and then uh, you know things like uh, um, you know things like like tiny this people. tiny people you know for to use I bought this many to get one two people out of there you know their little. I watch more TV than he does. Yeah, well. Wow. But that's by default, though, because I'm home. Yeah, I mean, I don't. I I don't know why I subscribe to TV, but. I guess. Well, we have to be able to watch Jeopardy for the toddler. <laughs> well, that's on network TV. Yeah, I can put up a antenna. I need to reevaluate that kind of thing, but it's just, eh, it's kind of like, well, it's not as painful to pay for it yet. Um, I'm gonna force dry this, so um, then we can kind of, we can kind of move on. We could actually uh, turn your volume down now. Okay. Yeah. And you know, uh, you know, you bring up sports and, and football. You know, I, I mainstream sports I've kind of gotten turned off of too. Okay, we're gonna make some noise here. I'm gonna force dry this. But, uh, yeah, but sports kind of can take or leave. And actually, you know what? If I want to watch other kind of content, on, um, yeah, st streaming, but I don't do like Netflix. I, I find, like, uh, probably shouldn't be saying this, but, you know, some unofficial streams, we'll call it, for, like, uh, certain sports or certain stuff. Kind of like the Supercross. The yeah, like cross. Supercross and stuff, because it's like... I don't want to have to bump up a package just to watch one season of something. And, you know, the ones where you, I can, uh, um, you know, if you could buy it more a la carte, um, there we go. If you could buy it more a la carte, uh, programming, I, I'd probably do that. But, uh, for example, like motocross. You can do that now, but it's like 90 bucks for the season or something. It's like, uh, and granted, like motocross, that's 24 races. Um, so that's not terrible, but it's also, um, but that's to watch it live. And I don't, and I can't always watch it live. So it's kind of like I'm prepaying my entertainment that I don't know that I'm going to be able to enjoy. Um, okay. Yeah, you that's probably should put the grass down first, right? Well, yeah, we got to do that. I just want to make sure that's um, dry enough, and then we got to get our uh, good old Mod Podge out and um, use this brush here. <coughs> and because uh, I think we're going to do a mixture here, and uh, trying to decide, do we need to do? Do we want to completely cover it, or do I want to leave a little bit of brown in places, just a teensy bit? Because I'm probably gonna put a little bit when we plant when we plant the rocks. Yeah, I mean, leave a little bit. Oh. NASCAR. N NASCAR. Hang on. You mean nap car? You can take a nap and they're still driving in circles. Yeah. If you ever watch some of my back catalog of videos and certain shots, you'll uh, you'll see this in the uh, in the background occasionally. It's a little Easter egg. You know, but I bought that, and it's an Easter egg that you can find in a lot of my videos. Anyway, uh, let's get our Mod Podge going here, and um, and then we can uh, put our put our grass down. Sure, we get it around the edges here, good. But yeah, I mean that roundy, roundy racing. I just, you know, I, you know, I tell you what, back in the old uh, speed, uh, speed vision days, and then later speed TV, and. Not that I'm a big Ralph Shaheen fan, but he used to narrate, and they used to, um, 
do highlight reels out while well, they were like hour long so it was almost like getting to watch everything um like the original broadcast overseas but wrc world rally championship but it's like now you know that's i, I can find that on unofficial streams is what i'll call it um but you know there's no um yeah, shoot hole. where's i got a hole in it somewhere oh right here well just do that. It looks like a bad cupcake right now. <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm not a fan of frosted cupcakes because I don't really like the frosting. Oh no. <laughs> Unless it's double fudge or whatever. Yeah, it's chocolate. It's okay. I guess when it comes to auto racing, I pref I generally prefer uh, racing that um, where they have to make right and left hand corners, you know, kind of thing. Uh, but uh, and and I do do like drag racing to a certain extent, um, but uh, you know, it it kind of I got to be in the mood to watch it or go to those races um i've been to a and been to a few you know big uh drag races okay let's put a little bit of the uh the darker grass on it just to, you know, we need some color variation on this I do have a brighter oh. mm. <laughs> I think you need new bags. Yeah, well, these are the bags that come in. Uh, that's why they call me the junk man. It's all just <laughs> junk. You know. You watch like Luke. You got those little solo cups you could put in. You like the, you know, you watch Luke so and his is like, his work area he's is like. He's like some master. Yeah, and it's like spotless. And um, he's got kids too. Yeah, I, I mean, he's doing. You know, he's, he's able to do YouTube full-time, sponsorships, all that jazz. I just don't have the time to manage it, you know, manage having a lot of sponsors. I used to do that back when I raced and and early days of YouTube and all that, and, and my website and all that kind of stuff. I used to do that kind of thing, but uh, okay. You know what? I like that because you can still see a little bit of dirt texture under there. Yeah. Mod Podge. Um, actually, that looks pretty good. I, I that very looked, lush. That um, Scottish lush. Um, modified dirt track. Uh, yeah, I do actually. Uh, 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 you must not be in the chat, but uh, got a uh, a viewer. Well, he's a viewer, but he's an old he's an old friend of mine. Uh, he sometimes pops in, and he he does that. He has, um, you know, that modified dirt track, a poor man's dirt track, I guess. Um, so I guess I'm done with that brush there. But uh, yeah, uh, that's fun. Um, you know, uh, dirt track motorcycle racing. I, I like watching too. Um, this rally car things like over in Europe are pretty good. Well, that's it. WRC I liked. Uh, I don't. Watching. I know those. Those are okay. Um, let's see. Just tap it just a little bit. Um, let's go to the wide shot. I'll t I'll show them a little more close. Some sprinkles. Yeah. Okay. Kind of get the idea of what we got going on here. Well, it's Scotland, so it's really green. Yeah, really green. So, um, it's uh, all right. You can go back to the other view. Uh, scene. Uh, yeah. And uh, then bring up the chat window again there. Again, professional YouTubers, they got somebody that runs all this. Well, themselves. usually I'm just lurking inside in the living room on the laptop. 
waiting for the tiny human to fall asleep. And folding clothes. Well, yeah, the you know rally cross, yeah, w, WRC World Rally Championship. You know that those guys can those guys can drive. <laughs> All right, um, we can't be planting rocks yet. We gotta let that no. dry. But what we can do is we can. Uh, I'm cheating it a little bit here, but uh, we can wet this down and get uh, get the. Uh, so look at the trees and see where we want to place them. Yeah, we'll. we'll oh. Uh, there, that's all right. That's just not, that's just alcohol. That's not what goes on a cupcake, people. <clears throat> Get a scenic glue here. That's the next thing you could do. You could make like a model cupcake. Well, I thought about it. Extra pairs cupcake, and you could just like have it sit on your desk. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna set that off to the side there. Um. Well, your tiny human just went to bed. Well, ours is supposed to be asleep. Hopefully, yours. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't bring the baby monitor out with us, so. He. Uh, yeah, he's, he's technically. Unsupervised, but uh, technically speaking, here he's like 15 feet away. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, um, yeah, just a little bit beyond uh, one of these walls here. So let's clean that up. Okay, yeah, let's dig out the trees and let's uh, because we're probably gonna be calling this a stream here in a minute. But uh, we basically got to let this all dry and uh, fully before I can uh, get to it. But we'll definitely be finishing this up in the next one. Um, so let's see how these work here. How these look. And I think they'll go well. Um, when we saw these in the, actually just bought these at uh, Hobby Lobby, you know. Um, I know other modelers, they, you know, they, you know, they can, you know, they make their own trees. I've thought about it, but, um, get this Where are going here and all, you know what? You'll probably see these make an appearance in another video, uh, later, because I don't let any of this stuff go to waste. <laughs> well, if we keep it away from the tiny human, he's going to want these. Yeah. The turdler, as we call him. <laughs> All right, we can move this back over here. So, well, ours got to play out in the snow this morning. So, yeah, we had we had snow here, uh, first snow of snow of the season um, for us um, here. That's really big. Well, it's gonna. I gotta drill holes. Well, they're all about that big. That's the thing. I don't know. I guess here's something. A little smaller, so something like that. Yeah. Something like that. Okay, see that? Um, yeah. It's a little tall. I could probably clip it. I think we can even put some bushes in, too. Well, yeah, and I some do have... shrubbery. I do have some of that the shrubbery. Uh, shrubbery. The knights who say me. <laughs> That's an awful thing. <laughs> yeah, these are all a little smaller is what I'm kind of looking for here. Um, trying to decide how many trees we're going to be able to fit in here. Here's a little ruin. I could actually add. That's a little ruin. Um, say four might be enough. I don't know. What do you think of the foliage? Because we, you know, I could, for some variation, spray some glue on this and then dump a little of this to just darken yeah, those. Yeah, I think so. You think we need to darken those a little? I think we need to darken those a little. Uh, Can't wait for the final product. Okay, well, good. Uh, uh, you made that tree in the last dive. Uh, I guess I did, technically. I mean, it was just a bunch. It's just some sticks I glued together, made it look, uh, you know, making it look the way I wanted it. Um, that was he wandered around the backyard for sticks. Yeah. Actually, just out the door here. Okay. So you, 
you want to try darkening these yeah. up a little bit? Let's. Uh, yeah. Really then I think we can just let's let's try this. We'll try one. See how it works. Um, just. Uh, A little blue on it there, and then we'll some light, some dark. Well, that's the thing. We're just gonna. I, I can feel the bark could be darker too. Well, yeah, we there's could. There's a way to do that. Yeah, they're there. Yeah. See, and I was just thinking. See, I'm just gonna randomly sprinkle a little bit on there. So. Well, we could. Um, I'll get my paints out. Let's let's experiment with this one here. Yeah, right. Yeah, you know, that's a good idea, actually. There, that. That adds some definition. Added, add, yeah, it kind of looks. Some add some definition. Okay, so you don't like. Let's see if we can't do something about those uh, trunks. I feel um, like they're too aspeny looking right now. That is true. Um, Whereas they. That's not going to be. I think that looks okay. Yeah, it just gives it a little bit of variation. Yeah. Um. Well, let's see what we can do. I wish I had another piece of foam. Okay, uh, here, here we go. <laughs> yeah. Which I, <laughs> actually, speaking of that, uh, I'm thinking, thinking about making a kind of a to uh, maybe a toy diorama. Um. Like one that's uh, maybe durable enough to play with. So I don't really have a suit. Because he always wants to play with the tree pieces and the grass. And yeah, well, he... he's got that little miniature train thingy. Well, yeah, which actually, you guys, um, if you haven't seen that, uh, I'm just trying to find a brush here. Can yeah, we go find that one? Um, I guess you could. Yeah, why don't you dig it up? Um, to that uh, time lapse that that build, yeah, I actually uh, time lapsed a little little train diorama build, and I built it live like this over what was it about five nights or something? Something like that. It was just kind of okay. Oh yeah, this will work. You can do kind of a wash on it as well. All right, that'll that'll work for these trees. We can do that. Okay. Yeah, that yeah that definitely helps. Oh my, just put a little wash. Yeah, just a little wash on the trunk is all that needed. Now. Yeah, I feel like it was too white. Like too uh, too much aspen. Not enough. Yeah. I don't know, what do they got? Oaks over there and stuff? Yeah. Uh, I'll just do the oh. layout, the time lapse. The time lapse one, that's the one to watch. Um, yeah, actually, and this one, you know. Uh, what I did on that one. Okay. Yeah, that looks better. We can, yeah, these trees definitely we can make them look better. So let's, I'm going to do that again. Um, right here. Let's pop it in there. Um, uh, just put a little bit of that on there and that's, uh, Let me go back to the camera and use. Uh, go to the software. That thing. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I and I did that one a couple, well, a couple well, years ago or a year ago. A year ago, I think, just over a year ago. I don't know. It's got the upload date on there. Uh, you can go back and watch the whole build too. But uh, the time lapse is pretty cool. And I literally, you know. No, I, so you just rummaged around and found th stuff. This was li out. literally made out of junk. I mean, like newspaper and uh, and uh, insulating foam. Uh, a lot of the paint was just like spray paint, <laughs> and uh, you know, rocks found in the garden, and stuff from just the crap shed. Yeah, I mean, not model re not. I don't think I bought any model railroading stuff, and I centered it around a little six dollar. Um, 
Little it was eight dollar set. I got him at Hobby Lobby for Christmas one year because he's he got this idea. He thinks he needs a model railroad, so it was a kind of a joke, kind of a gag gift. Yeah, so it was like six. Like, ha, here's your railroad. Yeah, it was a little plastic, you know, battery operated train and a tin, so it had enough track to make kind of a a, a circle. Or I made it into an oval, but um, and so I was like. <laughs> Uh, I said, well, I'm going to make a model railroad out of, out of junk and don't call him a junk man for nothing. Yeah. Anyway. So, you know, while it's not as realistic as, as say, uh, you know, like these, like a real HO railway. I mean, that's the thing. The train has no real scale. So, and I actually, when I did it, I did it more like a, like a forced perspective kind of thing. So, oh, I tell you what, I did buy I did buy some little trees, but I think I paid like less than ten dollars for like all of them. They're, they're pretty chintzy. It was a big pack. It was a big pack uh, of them, and then let's see, I um, uh, and then I I had I guess one of my little Hot Wheels cars, little guy, a four wheel drive uh, pickup, you know, and a This brown wash looks pretty good on them, actually. There, that yeah, that actually makes them already look a little, little nicer, a little more realistic. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's for works. So, so you know, you know what I'm talking about. Well, this is made, you know, China <laughs> or whatever. But uh, well, I gave it to him for Christmas several years ago, and it sat on the bookshelf for years. And so I was like, well, you know what? It, it, it needs to be on a flat, hard surface uh, to, to really work well. And so I was like, well, you know what? I'll build them a layout so I can glue the track down so it, you know, so it'll, the dang thing will run. Well, I did that and it's like, well, let's make a mountain and let's make a tunnel. And, uh, <laughs> and it just kind of, kind of snowballed from there. And the toddler uh, loved it. Yep, you like watching it just go round and round and round. Um, but uh, if you once this is done, I highly recommend uh, bringing that link up and uh, watching the time lapse uh, build of it. Again, like I said, it's made out of like old newspaper, Mod Podge, and other things. Like again, I made my own, basically my own paper mache, um, rather than using plaster and stuff like a like a real like a real modeler would do okay well all right that's probably enough trees we ain't gonna be able to fit too many in there okay those have to dry this has to dry all right well i think we're we're about and you say we're pretty much um, pretty much at a stopping yeah. point here. Let's move some junk out of the way. We got our little we got a little hill here. We got our rocks sort of sorted, so we know what we're gonna use. Um, yeah, I think uh, I'm gonna call it. Uh, I think we're gonna call this a stream. It's fun uh, hanging out with you. I hope you guys kind of enjoyed this. Um, we're gonna do this. Um, yeah, we'll be able to do this tomorrow. Yeah, night, we, we should. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll reschedule a, a stream, uh, same time, same place, and uh, I think we'll be able to. I think we'll be able to finish this because we really just got to put the rocks in, uh, figure out where the rocks go, drill holes for the trees, and uh, oh yeah, we got to put a little bit of other foliage in there that we can just glue in, then glue it down. You know, uh, paint, glue it down to this base, put the. Um, globe on it and um yeah that's gonna look really cool yeah and there we go so uh kind of a fan made uh outlander inspired diorama that's what we're doing here so you know if if you got some people who you know know about this uh would be interested in especially seeing the final product 
Um, I might make it do a time lapse of this like I did the other one uh, just for. So uh, thanks, you guys, for watching. Uh, make sure you're subscribed. I know a lot of you in the chat are. And hit that bell for the notifications so YouTube hopefully gives you an email telling you I'm live. So I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. And uh, and uh, for Katie and me, we'll uh, catch you in the next uh, in the next stream. Bye.